Hi, in the last 30 years, I had the privilege of working with youth. Uh, working with youth, uh, basically not only in Israel, but also in Australia. Working with youth is touching the future now, already now. Working with youth is not only touching the future, but it's also shaping the future. It's a very big privilege. Not everybody who is working with youth understands this meaning of this uh, of his job. But I had a, even a deeper privilege because in the last 30 years that I'm working with youth, we had a very big change in this world. And the change of this world was so fast and we know that it's also going to be even faster from now on. Think about this. 30 years ago, we didn't have the internet. We didn't have um, the cell phone. Uh, we spoke with countries, one with each other, only through our leaders and the foreign ministers. We saw the world through the, um, through the eyes of the newspapers. We didn't really have connection one with each other. We flew one, one, one place to another, but not more than that. Not really a deep understanding and connection to other places. And in the last uh, 20 years, we got not only the internet, but also the cell phone, and after that also the Facebook, the Twitter, and all of the other social media platforms. And everything changed. And a lot of jobs, teachers, high school principals, in almost every job that we are doing, we started to ask ourselves a lot of deep questions what exactly is our role today and what, how exactly we're going to do those uh, things. And me, okay, I don't know exactly how it happened, but I also, not only that I was a high school principal, I had the privilege of being a high school principal for, people, for kids with disabilities, cognitive disabilities. They, a lot of ADD, ADHD, a lot of other disabilities, and also, I had the privilege of giving lectures and seminars to teachers in other places, in other flute schools, and to lead, in the last uh, seven years, uh, young school principals that just went inside to, the, to all the schools. And I really worked a lot with the issue of self-help, self-realization, self-esteem, self-confidence. Now, I worked with all of those issues and I, in the last few years, understood that we are the social media and all of this self, self-help, self-realization, everything else, is bringing us to a culture of the selfie. I'm doing selfie with myself. And this is a very interesting stage of this culture. It's connected to a lot of things. The liberty, it's very powerful, it's very important, this self-culture, so we can build ourselves. But we can't stay only in this issue. Now, it's very important, the story that we tell to ourselves. It is building us. It is building our self-confidence and self-esteem. But the story can't stay only with ourselves, only uh, each one in, as an individual. We all know that we are a social animal. Since we were in the beginning of the history, we were together in small groups. The problem is, in our stage of this world, of this time, that from one side we stopped building ourselves through this story and uh, we lost our identity and from the other side the immigration is much wider and it's very hard to accept someone else when you don't really know who, who you are. It starts with each individual when he wants to, to have a wife or the wife wants to have a husband and to live together but it's also to build up communities. In the last uh, three years, 
One of the missions that I took upon myself is to start helping other places all over the world to rebuild back the communities and the right foundations and the right stories and the right, um, I will say, social media, the right social media, so we will be strong enough with self-esteem from one side to be ourselves, from the other side to know to accept others and to know how to live together. The question is, what is the source of this self-help, self-esteem, self-confidence, self-realization, self-self-self? It's, it's amazing what's happening in this world with, those, with all of this selfie issue. Usually, or there are two main ways to see the source of this self. One source is, I will say, the man, the man itself. We don't have anything outside this world that can help us. And we need to, to do it for ourselves. And Albert Einstein already said it, that your logic can bring you from A to B, but your imagination can bring you from A to anywhere. And the inside wheel that we have is very powerful and we can go very far. But from the other side, when each one for himself is trying to rebuild, I will say, all of this story, we will say, we will stay a lot of individuals. We, the Israeli nation, the old Hebrew nation, we got from the first father, from our first forefather, the one that was the father of all the universe, we got few secrets that we contained for the last 4,000 years. And those foundation thoughts can rebuild the communities where each community have their unique things for themselves from one side. From the other side, it could really bring the world to a better world because we can live together. We can reunite together ourselves for being one community. As you can also see in the video attached that this Shmuel Gordon, former bishop in South Africa said, expre expressed it very nicely. And this is what we are doing in the last few years. We are working, we are going from community to community and we are trying to bring back, I will say, um, the identity of this world, the foundation of the identity of this world. From one side, the identity or the foundation that is connected to everybody else. From the other side, the identity of each individual community and each individual person so we can grow up together and go out a bit from our shell, from each one shell, to be much more with the relationship, the identity. It all depends on the responsibility that each one and one of us is taking upon ourselves to move on. So I will be more than glad to see you all in our next conference that we're going to do in your city, in your place, in your town. And those foundations that we're going to bring in the world, I think will manage to bring us, all of us, to a better future. And we don't need to touch or to have to get connected to the future only through the youth so where we can very easily shape and build up but also us as older people we can shape the future to a better future see you all in our next conference bye